I work out for the feeling of being strong and I think looking strong is so cool. I am Erin Dark and I love my shoulders. I love my shoulders, which have occasionally been referred to by strangers as broad, um, which is not always what you want to hear as a lady, but I was a swimmer growing up and a lifeguard was how I supported myself through college and I like to believe that I was good at that because I have these masculine broad shoulders. <laughs> I think honestly some of it was like watching the Olympics and watching swimmers on there and being like, yeah, cool. I got that, if I have, I mean, not that body, but anywhere close to that body, I'm gonna be happy about it. I don't think women are discouraged from being athletic, but I think there's a very specific type of athleticism. Like, you were supposed to work out to have a Barbie body, but you're somehow not supposed to look strong. Um, whereas, like, I think muscles are, women are, like, so sexy. When I look at old pictures of myself, I think someone should have taken the tweezers away from me in college. Um, I just didn't have an eyebrows for like 1999 through like maybe 2006. My favorite emoji is the like face because I feel like I'm like old school and do like the colon parentheses smiley face for any time I smile but there is no like old school way to do and I, it's amazing how often you need to just be like Ugh! when you're texting someone. My favorite shows to watch are Stranger Things, and uh, this is terrible. I just want to say The Bachelorette because I was watching it before I came here. It's not actually my favorite show. I swear I like good shows too, but I just finished last night's episode. <laughs> and it is, I think, it, it's like my guilty pleasure. Ooh, and Top Chef. Top Chef is my favorite. The hardest part of the entertainment industry is not letting rejection get to you not taking it personally, and I think as a woman, not, not letting it reflect on your self-worth, um, especially physically. I have had experiences where I felt pressured to look a certain way, certainly. I, uh, I lost about 30 pounds probably like uh, seven or eight years ago, and before that I had three different people um, in the industry uh, tell me that I needed to lose weight, and it's shitty but I did it and I worked more and it sucks. <laughs> but that's the thing, I think the only people who can change it are people who watch things and just having more women in higher positions. I think women see the beauty in other women um, more than necessarily dudes who feel like there's a thing they're supposed to aspire to do. Working on Dietland, I realized that I, I don't think I've been a great ally to fat women. Um, even I found myself, when I was getting to know Joy, I found myself resistant to using the word fat still, even though that was how she referred to herself because I feel like I had been taught my whole life that that was a bad word. And then I had a moment where I was like, why? Why is that a, a bad word? If, if it's just a factual explanation of how someone looks, why is it a bad word? It's only a bad word if we make it one. I hope that women watch these shows go easier on both other women and themselves. Um, I think we spend a lot of time beating up ourselves and then a lot of time beating up other women because it makes it feel, us feel better about ourselves. It's so easy to get involved in our own bubble of oppression that we forget about the oppression of others. And I think more than anything, working on all of these shows has just taught me to be a better listener and within that, a better ally.